This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is installed base. So the topic that we are going to cover there, we will see what is installed base. We'll understand what is installed base. Okay, functions of the installed base. What are the different functions of installed base? Creation of installed base. We will in, we'll create an installed base in the system. Okay, then use of installed base. So what is the purpose? Why, why the installed base is created and why it is used? We will understand that. And then the configuration related to installed base. So these are the uh, topics we will be covering in the installed base. Okay, so first we'll start with the introduction to installed base. So here we will understand what is installed base. Okay, installed base is a representation of hierarchical component structure or setup of devices, machinery, products delivered and installed at customer's place. So installed base is nothing but the customer's hierarchy. We are selling some products to the customer. Those products or 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 equipments, machinery are available at customer place. So at customer place, we want to know which equipment is located at what place. To know that clearly in detail, we will create a hierarchy kind of thing. Okay, hierarchy. So that hierarchy is nothing nothing but installed base. It represents a customer's hierarchy, basically. Okay. You use installed base management to represent and manage products at the customer site and products that are used internally. So that is the okay. So the, the reason for creating the installed base is we are selling products to the customer. Customer is a our customer is a big customer. Okay, he has lot he is having a lot of units, lot of plants lot of manufacturing sites in the manufacturing site again in the manufacturing site different departments in the different departments you have the products okay suppose let's say i may i may uh, laptop manufacturing company let's say assume a scenario i am selling laptops to let's say one company let's say tcs tata consultancy services okay so i am manufacturing say, let's say i am lenovo company lenovo company is manufacturing laptops and selling it to the TCS company. So now in TCS company, all the employees are using the Lenovo laptops. So now let's say one Lenovo laptop is having problem. One laptop is having problem. Now I'm sending the technician. So my technician has to know exactly where that laptop is located. Okay. So in for to, to, to locate that, we will be using installed base. That is the reason of using installed base. So the technician who is going for repair, he will come to know where exactly that particular equipment or product which he is going to repair, where exactly it is located. So to know that we use this installed base man, installed base. Okay. You can assign pieces of equipment, materials, serial numbers, and documents that belong together as installed base components of a common installed base. So basically, to the installed base, you will assign functional locations, equipments, materials, everything you will assign. I will show you this in the system. Okay. You can use installed base management instead of a maintenance bill of material. So instead of form, you can use this installed installed base basically. Okay. So in a nutshell, uh, to keep it simple, installed base nothing but the customer's place hierarchy. Okay. You want to know where our uh, our uh, uh, products are located at the customer place exactly exact location. Okay, so this is the one installed a multi level structure of components for managing the products. Okay, it describes the structure of these components, the uh, structure of these products and their components. Okay, the, those components can be functional locations, equipments, materials, serial numbers, or even you can assign documents in the install. Okay, this is the one. If you see here, let's say I am selling my products to a high tech company, let's say. So now I want to know where my equipments are located. You see, first you put functional location, department here, admin production. Under that, you have the equipment. Okay, or even in the production, there are two lines. Under this line, you have equipments. Under these equipments, if you have some bomb, that bomb components also you can put it in the 
install. So the installed base components can be functional locations, can be equipments, can be bomb items, even you can assign documents also. You can assign documents also. Okay, so those are the components. Okay, so now we will go and create the installed base in the system. Okay, so let's go to our system. Okay, so I am into the S4 HANA system. So to create an installed base, the T code is IB51. This is the one. Create installed base. But before that, let's take our oh, data. So if I go to IQ08, so if I go to IQ08, uh, our next. 